welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you clicked on this, you probably have some interest in seeing my collection of Lenart or Lenarte, I'm not quite sure how you say it, kits and charts. Um, most of them, as you will see, actually 99% of them are going to be Marjolin Baston's artwork. And so let's go ahead and start with my finishes. So we've got this one right here. And I meant to, I have since passed this pattern on. I feel like it's called Spring Joy. And it actually has sort of, I think, a green and white gingham border around it that was supposed to be stitched, and I chose not to do that. So, um, and I didn't think it really needed it anyway. So this was the first one that I completed. And I just think it turned out so sweet. And that's kind of what got me sort of down this path of getting uh, the rest of these kits because I love Marjolaine Baston's artwork and I would love to stitch them all. So that is the first finish. Okay, and um, yes, if you've been following my channel, you'll have seen there won't be anything new in this video that you haven't already seen because I have shown all of these over the course of several, oh, several different videos over the years. And I do want to also say that I currently have, if you stitch anything, any um, Lenart kits that have Marjolaine Baston's artwork, if you're currently stitching or have some in your stash, I have an ongoing hashtag stitch along on um, Instagram and it's just hashtag M Baston Sal because I pretty much figure until I get all of mine stitched that I'm going to just continually have one on the go at all times and so feel free to join in anytime and tag me because I would love to see what you're stitching. Okay so that was the first one and the second one you've seen it's too big to fit in the screen so I'm just going to have to show it to you in parts. So and this is called the Four Seasons, either Four Seasons or The Four Seasons. And I stitched this all, I think I did it in a year, over the course of a year. So like I said, it's a bit long to fit in here. So I'm just going to kind of scroll up on it here, like this. I think we've got the rest of it there. So, yes, I wish I could fit this all on here. But, so you can see, this is the spring season up in this corner, summer over here, which looks almost exactly like just a little variation of this one that I stitched. Kind of the, got the same thing going on with the watering can, the bird, and, um, the strawberries. So I noticed that a lot of her artwork will appear sort of in different ways and shapes and forms in other um, other bits of her artwork. So you kind of see a lot of repetition. So I guess this is all spring right here, including the bunnies. And then this is still all summer. And I love that little chair in the in this middle there and then this here is the winter season and fall so very pretty love that one okay so that's it for the finishes not too many let's go next to the work in progress which i only have one at the moment and that's this one right here and it is in this perfect bag that I got from Magnolia Baby Creates. She makes these awesome bags, and when I saw this fabric, I just had to get one of these from her. And you'll see why. It's because this, let me take it out so it doesn't have a glare. So this is called Pumpkins. It's got that same soft coloring as all of her artwork does, which I love. And I started that, 
Hmm, I want to say this was my new year new start for 2019. Was it? I believe 2019, yes. Um, because I didn't because I didn't finish this one in 2019, I didn't start another one in 2020 because I only want to have one of these on the go at any given time. So this is where I'm at with it. Wow, I've gotten a lot done on that. I really need to start working on this again. All right, let me make sure I'm staying in screen there. So yeah, I didn't realize I'd gotten quite this far on it. So let's look and see. Basically, so yeah, that's I've got that end to that end. Got the top part done. So yeah, I just have this little part down here. Probably less than half, wouldn't you say? So I really need to get that done by the time fall gets here. Because I would love to just have that displayed. Because you guys know me. I get everything framed like ASAP, right? And yeah. Mm -hmm. If only. If only I was better at that. But Anyway, that's just beautiful. I really, really, really want to get this one done and get it framed. I've actually seen this one framed and it's beautiful. That's how I knew I wanted to stitch it. Okay, so that's it for my works in progress. And I will go ahead and put this away later, but as you can see, that's why this bag is just so perfect for it. All right, so now let's move on to the charts that I have. So her charts are, I think a lot of these are out of print, but they're easy to find if you just uh, keep an eye out on eBay. Um, you'll a lot of times find a good deal on her charts. Now the kits are can be a little bit more expensive, but the charts, if you can find a used chart like this, they're usually pretty reasonable. So this is the first one here. It's called the pecking order. And I love it. So yes, it's kind of this just real long piece right here. Not much to say about it. Her colors look usually, like I said, they all look about the same. This just does not look like it'll be too hard of a chart to do. So that's what we got first is the pecking order. Next up, we've got summer fruit. And like I said, this one, I, I see this, I've seen this quite a bit around on the internet if you look for this. So once again, these are just the charts, not the kits. This one is called No Vacancy. I could just imagine having a whole wall with just all of these cross stitches completed. So this has all these cute little motifs around the side here. Yep, very, very cute. This one here is called Seasonal Bouquets. And it's actually a book that has all of the seasons in it. This one I love the most is the fall season right here with those mushrooms. I think they're so pretty. See, once again, you notice you can recognize some of the motifs being repeated um, from the Four Seasons piece that I did. You know, they're just a little bit different. Um, let me see if I could, without showing you the chart. So, so this here is looks like the summer. And let me see if I could find in the middle here a picture of the other ones. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'm guessing that might be, I don't know which one is the summer, which one's, okay. That has apples, so that's probably, it's gonna probably be summer. This looks like spring. Maybe there's more than just four in here. Well, we know that's fall. Yeah. Anyway, those are the charts. So, very pretty. Okay, and last of the charts I have is this one right here called America's Feathered Friends. Love that. Yeah, those are all just her 
other ones yeah the other patterns so yep there and that is it for the charts okay now we'll sh show the kits well this first one I'm calling a kit because it was gifted to me as a chart but the lovely lady that gifted it gave me all the floss so I have this with with kits even though it doesn't have the fabric in it um, it's I'm still kind of considering it a kit and this is called gathering you guys know how much I love anything that has to do with bird feeders bird feeders bird houses birds in general so I love this and you can just see all the really pretty colors Yes, her color palette is just very soft and very, very, uh, I don't know, just so um, relaxing and pleasant to look at. All right, and next up, we've got this one right here, and it is called, I don't know what it's called. And it actually doesn't, this, oh yeah, it's Linart, yeah. So, I don't know what this one is called. But it is a full kit, comes with the fabric and the floss. I thought this was called Spring in the Garden, but you know what, it looks like Spring in the Garden, but it's not. It's very similar to it though, so yes. Uh, I need to make sure I don't shine that toward the window so you can see. Very pretty. Next up is this little one here. And I feel like this is an older one. There's actually a picture of her right here and she looks quite young. Once again, it doesn't have a name, but it's just a little butterfly, little, little uh, butterfly sampler. Very cute. And next up, this small one here. So she has a lot of real small ones, just individual ones of there's like crocus and a bunch of different uh, of these little kits. And I'm not quite sure how many of those I'm going to collect. Uh, I guess if I just happen to find a good deal on one. Um, so this one's called Summer Bouquet. It is also a kit. Very pretty. Doesn't look like it would take too long to stitch that up. Uh, this one is my most recent find, which I'm so excited about because I have seen somebody stitching this and it looks amazing and I love it. And I'm very excited to start it. Also a kit. Look at all those colors. Love it. And this one is called Birdhouse in Bloom. <sighs> I want to start that one. That's definitely the one I want to start the most right now. And then last but not least, this one I thought when I bought it, I thought it was a Marjolaine Baston artwork, but it's not. But it looks exactly like something that would be her artwork. It is a Lenart kit, but um, no, it's not Marjolaine Baston. She's called Home and Garden. And, um, yeah. So, yes, it's kind of interesting. It comes in this big box. So you can see the colors there. I've also seen this one stitched up too, and it's just lovely. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope the lighting was okay on that, and that's it. I just thought I would share my Lenart slash Marjolaine Baston collection because I'm a bit obsessed. There's, uh, you know, let me look back at her. So on the back here, oh yes, so that one was called Spring Joy, uh, and I have no vacancy. I got this one, I got this one. That's This is the sampler I did. Okay, it's called The Four Seasons. This is um, Spring in the Garden. This is the one I don't have. I guess I was thinking I had that one, but I don't. I just have uh, 
just a smaller version of one. So spring in the garden, I've seen that stitched. It's beautiful. Meadow dance. I'm not sure I want that one. There's there's that one that, I, that I'm not too crazy about. Um, I don't know why. I don't necessarily, I mean, I just feel like the, it looks like it would be tedious to stitch with all of the I mean, yeah, if I find one, if I come across one at a good deal, I'll probably get one just to complete the collection. Okay, that's it, guys, for my collection. Thanks for stopping by and let me know if you have any of these in your stash. And uh, like I said, if you want to start it, just hashtag on Instagram, M, hashtag M Baston Sal. And you can also look and see um, all of the other ones that are being stitched on there too. So, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay healthy out there. Bye.